Hey guys. I'm not posting this until Monday. Anyway, I just tried shooting this video and it was a little too short, so I'm gonna make it a little bit longer. If I sound tired, it's because I haven't slept for a little while. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I tried shooting this earlier, like I said, and, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, oh, I'm probably sweating too. I saw in the last video. But, uh, you, I'm doing a review. I couldn't wait for tomorrow to do all these reviews, so I'm just going to do one for Sunday and then one for Saturday. Anyway, um, this rapid review will be on the Speed Reload 6 Dark Tag Nerf gun. Okay, so what you get with the blaster is, um, the blaster itself, of course. It looks really nice. Like, I, I, I gotta admit, this blaster looks awesome. Just go. It's really cool. And what you get with it is the blaster and then, um, six of the, um, uh, dark tag darts. Okay, so, it's very simple and, uh, yeah. So basically, there's a built-in clip right here. It works just like, a clip on a nerf gun, like one that's not attached. Anyway, you push it down into there and then eventually it should get down to about here. And uh yeah. So yeah it holds six darts max. Doesn't oh uh, you should never try to use different darts than the dart tag darts on these unless you've modified them in some way to do so. But uh yeah. <laughs> Um, so the way, method of firing is spring powered, you push this back, and push it forward, or you can use flame fire. Very simple. And I'm going to load this up with six, um, whistler darts, or six, um, dark dead darts. Anyway, it's night time, actually. No, it is about 10.30 right now, but I'm going to post this tomorrow. Alright, so I think that's six. Yeah, I think so. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so firing. Alright, now flame fire. Yeah. Oh, did I mention there's a jammer right here? It's pretty cool. It's like, it looks like it's camouflaged into the gun because the way it's so yellow. But, uh, it opens up like that. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Anyway, um, this is my review for Monday. I know it's not Monday yet for me, but when you guys watch this, it will be Monday. So, yeah. Anyway, um, uh, would I re recommend this blaster to you? Totally. Especially if you're really into slam fire pistols. I would not recommend it though, like I said in another video, if you do not like slam fire pistols. But it does single fire as well, so yeah. So it's pretty good for that too. The one I'm blinging so much is because there's a light over there and a light and the flash is on. Or the flashlight and uh, yeah. So yeah, I love this blaster. It's a very nice shape. I like how there's a built-in clip. I just love it so much. I'm just looking at the bottom. Oh, there's a sling point right here, which is pretty cool, right there. And uh, so yeah, whenever you need to jam, you just push that back, and then get in there, and then push it out the darts. Anyway, this is yeah, never mind. This is Sunday thing. Yeah, so I hope this video was longer than the last one I made. The last one was like three minutes. It was a Sunday's um, Nerf review. Anyway, uh, good gun. Here's one more look at it. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.